This is our maiden voyage, day one of Carrie TV. Pretty exciting. We wanted to get ahead of Oprah's network. Pretty exciting. So that was good. Steve says, sorry, we're very excited we to are be here today. <laughs> extremely excited. We mocking are excited. Me. I have a little mocking. We're excited. Thanks I'm for being here. I'm just trying to be in the background, kind of like uh, trying to be the guy who was with Ryan Seacrest on the first season of American Idol. Okay. Okay. I don't even remember that guy's name. You're doing well. Anybody Shrimp. in the chat room, if you remember that guy's name, that's my point. Exactly. Okay. Just trying to fade and let you be out front. Do it. Uh, so what can you tell people about the record? It's going to be out August 24th. Obviously, yes. they've hopefully heard No Matter What all over their own radio station. If not, then uh, you should probably fix that problem. You have control. You have the power, right? Yes. Album out August 24th. Very excited. Um, just finished recording, well, a couple weeks ago. Um, just the main theme of the record is just exploring the raw side of faith, hope, and love. And um, just how, I don't know, Christianity isn't an easy thing, a life of faith isn't an easy thing, and being honest about that. So it's something I'm passionate about, growing up in the church, being a pastor's daughter, and just wanting it to be kind of a real, um, just an, an honest discussion on faith through music. Cool. Uh, we are monitoring the chat room as well, we so are. if you have questions, we would certainly uh, love to field those. So fire those up, and we will uh, take a look at them during the next song. i uh, going to listen to Take You Away, so mm -hmm. what can you tell us about that? Yes, Take You Away is just a really positive kind of ultimate rescue song stating that there's a better place and just allowing God's love to work through you to um, touch other people's lives. Take You Away. Yes, Take You Very Away. Very nice. It wasn't the first time I've heard it, but it is still every, it's just amazing every single time. It makes me happy that you yes. say that. Good. Something seems different about you. I can't. No. Exactly. You can't put your finger on it. No. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's do some shout outs to uh, our friends out there. We have many of them today. Yes. Uh, Vertical Radio, Fish Portland, and uh, K Life, Woo! Radio Shine, among others. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to uh, throw those out there. I want to talk to you. We will answer almost anything, as honestly as we can. I'm very honest. Yes. Uh, also, let me say that you need to stay tuned for the big finale that we have been working on and rehearsing for weeks. Mm -hmm. It is going to be something like the internet has never really seen before. So. Truly. I mean, at least Carrie TV. I'm excited. It's going to be a landmark day for Carrie TV. So stick around for the finale. Stay tuned. Yes. Uh, shall we talk about Beautiful to Me? We shall. Okay. Um, Beautiful to Me is probably the most explicit salvation story um, song on the record and just talks about ex exploring just, well not exploring, but just the wondering of the mystery of why God would choose to use destruction and pain to bring about healing and salvation. And um, in the bridge it's just this crying out for God to show you how your own personal pain and the tragedy within your own life could be something that is also beautiful to you. With a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Yes. Coming up next, uh, we're going to dissect the oil crisis and figure out to, uh, well, yes, no. Welcome. No, we're not. Hi. Welcome. Different? No, is something different about you? I don't think so. This feels perfectly natural to me. Yeah. Good. Uh, we had a couple of questions that we should address. We did. Uh, somebody wanted to know the favorite city that you've ever lived in or visited. I uh, know. Okay, visited, mm -hmm. I can answer. Lived is so hard. Well, they said or. Either or. Okay, because I can't make that decision. My favorite city that I visited was um, Kuala Lumpur. We were there, I was there with Engelbert, singing background, and what made it so incredible, unfortunately for him, he had an illness, but we had to reschedule the show for literally a week later. So I got to spend seven days in Malaysia. It was incredible. That was my absolute favorite visit. Very nice. Uh, also, somebody wanted to know what is the hardest part about uh, being a pastor's kid? Mm. Um, I think, I mean, I've been really, really fortunate with the different church families that I've had. I think that the biggest part about it is just always like being on. 
you know you're always going like someone's always going to be watching you don't ever take a break from that which is actually really good training for being an artist so something i'm actually thankful for but um yeah I th I, that is hard in from a personal thing and then just a more global view it is hard to just see so much brokenness that's kind of where everyone comes to um is the church when they're broken and they they need that support and sometimes that is hard to see just really really good people that are hurting and that's kind of inspired a lot of what you've written about. Absolutely. Record, that's right? definitely a huge part of um, where a lot of this record has come from, just watching that. It's definitely made an impact on me. Uh, we had a question about touring, but we're still working on a lot of touring Soon. options. And, uh, Soon. Stay tuned to CarrieRoberts.com and you will know all about it. Yes, or Carrie TV. You yes. Can stay tuned and uh, we'll make sure that we uh, let you know when we've got some stuff uh, fired up. But August 24th yeah. is the big release. Oh, where did I find, or when did I find my voice? Um, I grew up, literally, my father being the pastor, my mom was always praise and worship leader, choir director, um, so I joined the adult choir when I was, like, five. I, grew, I just grew up in a very musical environment with my mom, my sister, my brother, like, it's definitely a family affair. So I actually cannot even remember not having a voice, it's just been part of life, um, and I was fortunate enough to have... Parents that realized that and supported it, and it's just always been a part of me. But probably like first big performance solo at church for around five years old. Uh, next song is Maybe I'm Afraid. Yes. What would you like to tell us about that? Very honest lyric. Yes, an honest lyric that just explores the harder side of faith um, in the sense of just admitting that we might have our own plans and that sometimes living a life of faith will take you away from those plans and just that feeling of fear of losing control and letting God take control and that's at the core of maybe I'm afraid. And then we will have our big finale after this so get ready. <laughs> 